Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the M2M MQ03-LTE-Fire and how to get that device wired into your fire panel. Now, before I get started on this, I do need to preface this with, this is not something you want to do yourself. You want to have a fire technician do this or somebody that's trained in high voltage uh, specifically, but a fire technician will be able to do this for you with no problem. So for the end user, you don't want to do this yourself. Make sure you get a fire tech. For the fire techs watching this video, we'll go ahead and we'll proceed further. Make sure the panel's powered down. No batteries, no power. You unplug the power supply. As you can see, my panel is dead here. We're not working on a live panel. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the M2M communicator. This communicator I've pre-wired, it does not come this way. You will need uh, you know, some strips of 22 gauge, 20 gauge, 18 gauge wire. I'm using 22-2, just three different strands, and I'm sorry it's confusing here with the black and red, but uh, that's the only strands I had at the moment. So what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys how to get this wire directly into the panel. So we'll go and verify the wiring here. The first strand is gonna be the positive so and the negative for power. So we'll have red to positive, black to negative. Then for the second and third strand, this is gonna be for communications. You're gonna need to have two going back to the panel as required by fire panels. So we have a red going to ring, a black going to tip. Then we have a red going to ring two and a black going to tip two. Once you verify that these connections have been made here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna proceed on to getting it wired into the panel. So I'll put this over to the side here and we'll get power wired in first. So power, we're gonna go our red and black from power and we'll go black down here, get it in place and then get it screwed down and tightened in place. Okay. That's ready. Now we go to the red one. Get that in place. Get it tightened down. Now, once that's been done, we're gonna grab our first tip and ring wires, which are here, and we're gonna wire those in. So we're gonna go red to the first ring here. And then we're gonna go black to the first tip here. Once those are in place, you're going to grab your second tip and ring wires and you're going to be going red to ring, which is here. And then you're going to be going black to tip, which is located directly next to it. Let's go ahead and get that in place and tighten down. Now I didn't feed these through knockouts or anything like that. You're probably gonna do that. I just showed you how to wire it straight up. But uh, once you've had these connections made, you're ready. This thing is connected. Now you just need to get your antenna put in place, which you can do like so. Super easy, you just screw it on there, tighten it in place. Now this, meant, this antenna is magnetic. You can put it outside the box and it'll stick. And the last thing we have to do here is we just have to get the internet plugged in, which you're gonna do right here by snapping the internet in place, like so. Once that's done, this device is ready to be activated. You can power your panel back on and you can give us a call for activation. If you have any questions, comments, anything at all, please leave it below. You guys take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.